Good early morning. We're so glad you're here. <laughs> we daily vlog. So if you enjoy this video. Come back tomorrow. We are outside of our clinic, ready to go have blood test number two mm -hmm. to make sure that everything's rising good. And then we'll, like we won't find out results right away. Yeah. Same thing as before. Like yeah. we'll get a call this afternoon. But I'm going to work today into the office. Mm -hmm. Sarah's doing her usual thing again. Mm -hmm. Back to a little bit of normalcy. And then we'll go to the parks later. Alrighty, friends, you might have already seen on social media if you're following us there, um, but I just heard word that our second beta test, our blood test, our HCG test, um, came back at 2,470. They wanted it to double and it more than quadrupled, which is awesome. Um, the only thing is like it is three days since our last test, so it makes sense that it's more than doubled, um, but we're just blown away by how high it is. So we won't have another appointment for another month. Our first ultrasound is going to be March 24th when I'm eight weeks and five days. Today I am four weeks and four days. So that is that. We're gonna just keep taking it easy, keep listening to my body, and um, just live in this moment, you know, where we're still like fully grasping it all, um, but we're excited. Oh, and the, um, we're, we're more than excited. The due date is October 29th. Holy smokes, Halloween baby. I'm here. You're back. I'm back. Yeah. I really didn't film a lot today, to be honest. I had a busy, busy Did you day. show the food? Because Sarah made some award-winning items that I think if we actually jarred her like garbanzo bean salad things she made, that we could sell that stuff on all the markets it's of like the world. Like hot pepper garbanzo bean. Ooh, it was so good. Like, I don't know, stir fry? Let us know down below if you know from just the way where we're walking in the background, if you know what resort we're at. <sighs> We parked the boardwalk. Literally, we are going to Epcot, but we are here just to make the most of our mug. <laughs> what do you think? We can get some right now, slug it back a cup, take one in, and then on the way out, we can get more. Wow. Delicious. And we're soaking in, is today the last day for us flowers? Today's this the last day. It is the very last day. Yes. And so we're going to go see the performance, and it's four performers. I don't know their names off the top of my head. Well, but Josh we'll Strickland is my there. favorite, and we yeah. haven't seen him. Last year, I feel like we would definitely have to festival arts more this year, but we saw Josh Strickland more last year. Yeah, yeah I think it was uh, logistical. Yeah. Look at this beautiful exhibit called Crescent Lake Boardwalk Beach Club Yakum. Guys, I totally put my design on the back burner for the Crescent, Love, Crescent Lake Running Club. It's coming. I can't wait because I just want to wear it. I know. <laughs> I have to finish it. It's like, I would say like three quarters done. Yeah. But we're going to stop here at the bakery fountain for resort and mug refills. Always give respect to the subway tile, no matter what it says, whether it's bathroom, first aid, boardwalk bakery. It's my favorite thing in the whole world, subway tile. Into Epcot. Is this here? Is I don't think so. But I forgot to tell you guys something. The reference is this. Okay. When I ran backstage at the half marathon, you come in behind Figment. Yeah. I literally saw two dumpsters full of the what the plastic containers for the flowers come in, and Ooh. literally fields of flower and garden flowers. Because this is this is what this is for. Literally, thousands of flowers just. On, not in pots on the ground, I'm getting ready to transport into all over World Showcase. I don't know if you guys realize, but we're here and it's very sunny still. Right. And that is because Sarah picked me up from work, but we're meeting up with some friends tonight, so that's why Sarah drove me to work, so we can get here early, but we have to go do our shot. And then leave it at first, first day, day for a little bit. Um, 
Also, these friends are people that we live with in our old apartment complex who we would like watch their kids and they would watch Eve and stuff. And so we're excited to see them because we haven't. We, I mean, now less, like work, work schedules and living across towns from each other. Yeah. We just don't see each other that often. We got to see each other a little bit at race weekend. But this is like the end of their little race weekend home staycation. Beautiful sunset, beautiful day. What you got there? They gave us this um, celebrating pin that has our number test on it, like our yeah. results on it from I always today's think blood test. So far, like, so like they're registered nurses in there. I don't mm -hmm. think they can legally like, ask us certain questions but yeah. like whenever we go in there with like a happy demeanor and ask them to put our medicine in room temperature like we don't they don't ask us what it is always no. so today Sarah just like brought it out she's like yeah we actually just found out that our second beta test was great well, and they like, asked oh. if we were local so I wanted to be like we'll be coming back because like we're going to be doing this for eight weeks yeah. and it's so easy peasy so they were super so happy so then they got this Such a cool Rapunzel 3D chunk. Spaceship Earth is only a 15 minute wait, so we're gonna wait and go on it. We haven't been in it forever. And with it being closed soon for two whole years, we really like every time we come to Epcot now, we need to go on Spaceship Earth. So you guys hold us to it. If we go to Epcot and we don't show Spaceship Earth, comment and say, guys, get your ex together. What kind of future do we discover? stars of Disney on Broadway, Mary Poppins, Tarzan, The Lion King, and Aladdin, Ashley Brown, Josh Strickland, Cindy Winters, and Michael James Scott. Last year, I'll let you have your turn. <laughs> well then, <laughs> in life, one has to face a huge assortment of nauseating fads and good advice. Oh, that's right. Beauty and the... the 
this and make our dream a reality. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. You know what? I think we should go ahead on and do it for them. They've been waiting for it all night. Hit it, Jim. Let's go on and do it. Here we go. So we just left our friends, they're having some before the park closed pretzel, pretzel snacks. We have to go, oh the crowd's waiting for all the performers to leave the stage. Oh, yeah. They have to leave that way. Yeah. We have to go back to first aid before park closes, which is before Epcot Forever, yeah. to get our medicine because we, I mean like they would hold on to it till tomorrow, but yeah. we need it because I don't think we yeah. plan on coming to Epcot tomorrow. Right. We have more at home, but we just should have our medicine, we should yeah. leave it here. So we're going to run on over there, mm -hmm. get the medicine and maybe find a spot for fireworks yeah I'm kind of feeling it yeah now that the the only way to get to the front of the park is those two really wide paths and not through this center place the center courtyard is very calm right now it's kind of eerie like i i really like it peaceful and beautiful we've watched fireworks from here before we have not watched epcot forever so we might just watch it from here with it being so calm and cool and collected We'll leave an Epcot and we'll put a comment down below if you've ridden the gondolas after park close. I just want to know, like, at that point, how long is that wait? You know, like, I don't think it's... it's constantly going. I, I, I would venture to say that that's probably, like, a 10-minute. Yeah. But I have no context other than, yeah, like, walk-ups for us. Right. So, like, I think it's 10 minutes, but is that 30? Is it 5? Like, I think the gondolas are a great system, but we have very little experience. Like, park close. Like, actually using it at its peak hours. What if we sit on the bench with one resort mug refill and then take a roadie? Okay. Just to get some, because it's beautiful out right now? Yeah. Sorry that last shot was real dark, but sometimes you gotta vlog when you gotta vlog. Yeah, the stars are out tonight. Yeah, Sarah's been stalking Orion's belt for the past like a week. Every time yeah. she looks at this guy, she's like, and Orion's belt. She's like, right there. Yeah. Oh, this is what I can't wait. Give it a couple years, probably like, that are eight or nine, maybe twelve. The Brookout Project, renting a whole, whole bike. <laughs> a whole Surrey bike. Yeah. It's moments like this, my friends, when I'm sitting here on this bench with my best friend, 
good old oh my God. cup of pop Where'd it go? Where'd it go? that I just hear life could be a dream playing in my head. <laughs> it's just perfect. And she's perfect. And I love it. is perfect. <laughs> You know what time it is, it's time to read the message cause it's good to be home. Alright, Monday the February 24th, 24th day of the February th month of the year is, ooh, a short one by Anonymous. Someday is not a day of the week. Ain't that the truth? Wow, it's time for bed. I'm tired. It's good to be home. <laughs> it's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.